Jason, ¿puedes contarnos cómo empezaste en el póker? Uh, well, I started playing poker uh, when I was like 16, 17 with my friends uh, in high school. Just like, uh, you know, we would play like $5 buy-ins and stuff. And uh, I started playing online when I went to college uh, when I was 18 and just played online for like three years. And once once I got really good at, at uh, online and was making money uh, playing online, I uh, won a couple seats into... Uh, some big main events and ended up winning EPT San Remo and that's that's pretty much how I got my start, you know, and uh, became a poker stars pro and all that. ¿Qué era lo que acostumbras a grindear cuando comenzaste a jugar? Uh, when I first started playing online, I was mostly playing like sit and goes, uh, play like heads up sit and goes and then uh, limit hold them online like cash and uh, then I got into tournaments and Uh, I made most of my money playing online, uh, playing No Limit Cash uh, and PLO Cash Games. ¿Qué se sintió haber ido a San Remo, quizás en uno de tus primeros torneos así grandes, y ganarlo? Uh, when I won San Remo, uh, you know, it felt amazing. I, I was super happy, you know, it was the biggest score of my life. Uh, I figured it, it might be the biggest score for sure. Uh, and it's like, I figured it might be the biggest score for me ever um, as a professional poker player. Um, and uh, I still haven't had a, a bigger score than that. So um, when I went and played uh, San Remo, I had only played one other big live tournament. I played the PCA like three months before that. And the year before that, I don't think I played a single tournament um, online. I played only cash, um, you know, every single day to try to get Supernova Elite. So I was very rusty when it came to tournaments and uh, I don't even know if I played San Remo like that great, you know, I was just, I ran super hot and was very lucky and I don't think I got very good at tournaments until, you know, maybe six months after that. Da la sensación de que vos lograste todo lo que se puede lograr en el póker, ha ganado torneos, ha jugado cash, eh, y sos jugador de elite en todos, absolutamente en todos los juegos. Ahora estás tratando de convertirte en un jugador de elite en Face Up Chinese Poker? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily trying to be the best at, at open face Chinese. Um, I think that it might just, you know, happen. It might be happening. Uh, I think that there's only a few players that you could argue might be better than me at open face. Um, I think Sean Deeb and maybe Brandon Cantu and Scott Siever might be the only three that uh, I'm not first. I'm not sure that I'm better than them at, at open face. But uh, I, I mean, I think I'm definitely one of the best open face Chinese players en el mundo y, you know, I'll, I'll play the highest stakes against anyone. ¿Es verdad que lo inventaste vos, el juego? Uh, no, I definitely didn't invent the game. Uh, the game came from Russia and it's, it's actually been being, been played in Russia for a long time. Um, but uh, I have definitely helped in, in uh, changing a few things about the game and uh, making the game more popular. Acabas de nombrar quiénes son los mejores jugadores de Face Up Chinese. ¿Quiénes son los peores? Uh, I would say the biggest fish in open face Chinese might actually be Phil Hummings. Uh, he's not he's not even like bad at the game. I just he just always loses. Like every time I hear him, he's just you know fouling his hand, going to fantasy land, and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, so he, he he gets very frustrated. But uh, yeah, don't repeat it. But uh, I think he he might be the biggest fish. ¿Por qué crees que se volvió tan popular este juego? Um, I think I think because of the nature of the game that it's you know everyone gets to see what's going on you know you set your hand and it, it's just action you know if you come up to a table and people are playing open face Chinese people are you know complaining they're they're talking out loud they're celebrating when they make their hand um, and you get to see every single decision that they make and why they make it and You know, it, it's just a very interesting game. So it's a spectator sport, you know, like people get to see the hand, you know, it's so rare in, in poker to watch poker is like, it's so boring, but to watch open face, it's really exciting and, and you can totally get into it. So I think that's why everyone who sees the game, they're interested and they want to play it. Jason, ¿qué se siente ser un Team Poker Stars Pro? Uh, it means everything to me to be a Poker Stars Pro. You know, I've been a Stars Pro now for three and a half years and uh, I was super happy when I got signed and and now, it, you know, looking back, I mean, I don't I don't see, uh, I wouldn't want to be anything else. So I'm, I'm happy to be a Poker Stars Pro, happy to be a part of the team. 
you know, alongside guys like Elke and Daniel Negreanu, uh, who represent the game so well. And uh, I'm just trying to do the same. ¿Alguna vez has estado en Latinoamérica? Uh, I went to Uruguay once in 2008 for a poker tournament for an LAPT event. Um, it was one of the first events there, so I would really like to go back maybe to uh, Brazil for or like, uh, you know, somewhere where they're going to have like a, a big tournament and, and, you know, see the sights. Yeah.